Does Craigslist hold the free key to holiday gifting? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Before we get neck deep in the weird part of Craigslist, just a heads up that this is the final week of season 20 of Good mm-hmm. Mythical Morning. 20 was a big one and a quick one. Well, time flies when you're streaming an entire day for charity, getting yeah. R-rated on Good Mythical Evening, launching yeah. a surprise horror series on TikTok, plus an animated GMM episode, plus every single other episode of GMM that we delivered to your internet doorstep. Yeah, we wanna thank our th- team, the, <laughs> the team. Theme. They've got a great theme. Thank you, Mythical Crew, for an amazing season, and thank you for making us a part of your daily routine. Yeah, so this wraps up This week wraps up season 20, but don't worry, we're gonna still be here for the next two weeks, counting down the best moments of 2021 on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and then, Mm -hmm. before you know it, we'll be back in 2022. Yes, 2022, kicking off not just season 21 of GMM, but also marking the 10-year anniversary of the show. There's lots to look forward to, beginning right now. Forget Oprah's favorite things. This holiday season, look no further than your holidays and a guy we met on the internet named Craig S. List. Hmm. You may not be able to put a price on holiday spirit, but can we put a price on some freaky objects that spent just a little too long in someone's basement? And are they good enough to give to our loved ones? So many questions. It's time for... Twas the night before Christmas and Santa had extra special gifts. All his elves went on strike, so he resorted to Craigslist, the game. The crew has sourced only the finest strange items Craigslist had to offer. We haven't seen any of these ourselves. Some of them were free, some of them were paid for. And that's really what we're gonna be competing to do, to guess which ones were paid for and which ones were free. We get one point for each correct guess. Lots of free stuff on Craigslist, apparently. Uh, If the item is revealed to have cost money, though, we're gonna get to guess how much we paid for it and whoever's closest wins the point for that round and gets a bonus point if they were within $10 of the price that the crew paid for it. In the end, the winner will get to choose one item from the game to take home as a very special holiday gift for himself that he can snuggle with all night long. Hope you guys are ready to start this round with some pep because first up, we've got a vintage Burbank Bulldogs cheerleading uniform. The Bulldogs? Oh, snap. It's got the (laughs) pom-poms. They still use these? Oh man, the smell that came off of these. Oh, don't shake. Oh man, there's some Burbank coming off of these pom poms. This is a. Like Burbank hormones. This is the thick uniform, man. Feel it at. Ooh, that's nice. They don't make them that thick anymore. This is hot. This will be hot to wear. They don't make them that thick. Oh, look at that. And there's a nice purple lining. I'm gonna have to try this on later. Uh, If I get it. If I win, I'll try it on for you and get mythical more. Okay, good. This meant something to someone at some point. This was like- Burbank, huh? This was like the peak of someone's life, potentially. Mm -hmm. And then they just gave it up? Super vintage retro is how they described it. For free? Would you throw in super vintage and retro if you thought that it was free? Um, Okay. Ready to guess? Yeah. Uh, Three, two, one. paid. Paid. We agree. You guys, you got us. Of course this is paid, it's super vintage and retro. But cool. the question is, how much did we pay for it? Uh, okay. I mean, this is this is kind of cool. I could definitely see this hanging from the rafters in a TGI Fridays. Burbank. <laughs> Burbank. Burbank, Burbank, Fr- Burbank got a Fridays? No, what? Chase has said no, Burbank does not. He has well, a full list of Let's restaurants. See, I, I, what about Applebee's? Let's change that. Is there something that it can There's Barney's from? Beanery he has accessed in his Burbank directory that is close. Okay. There's an Outback. All right. I think you paid $43 for okay. it. Okay, I went a little bit lower, 29 Guys, we paid a hundred dollars for it. It's super retro vintage. Hundred dollars. Link was closer, but he does not get the bonus third, bonus. I, point. He gets I don't eight get a point. third. He point. gets a point. Not All right, I'll take it. All right. No, I'm I'm taking this. Yeah, yeah, you can have it. There's no better way to introduce this next item than the way its original Craigslist poster did. Do you make prodigious amounts of gumbo? Congrats, guys. You are now the proud owners of a 50-pound bag of gumbo powder. Oh, my God. Gumbo powder? This gumbo is... powder. What? What the heck is gumbo powder? 50. 
Well, it's coming out the bottom already. Oh my gosh, dude, this is gumbo powder. It's it's a it's a blue trash bag. It's just gumbo powder. What? How What's you... gumbo powder? It's used to make gumbo. I know, it's just seasonings. It's Why just would seasonings. you need that much? If you're a gumbo file. I guess if you work at a restaurant. Hmm. Okay. All right. I, 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 hmm. You can make a lot of gumbo. You can make this go really, really, really far. All right. Want to guess? If, yeah. you, if you put all this in one pot of gumbo, though, it wouldn't go as far. And that I well, think that would be a different dish. If the pot was the size of a pool. Three, two, one. Three. Oh, shoot. You went with it, too? Yeah, I think a restaurant closed, and they're like, just get rid of it. I don't want to. I don't want anything yeah. reminding me that my restaurant failed. My gumbo restaurant in Burbank. You're two for two. It was free. It was in Mar Vista. And now we have to give it away on Craigslist for free. Yeah. Well, no, 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 no. Let's make a big gumbo. Next up, we've got a prop from none other than Jojo Siwa's holiday party. What? what? And we it's very large. And um, oh. honestly, I am. Supremely personally curious, uh, Lucas. What? What? T tell us about how you picked this up. Uh, I got this from Nearly Normal Norman, which was his name for himself in Sherman Oaks. Okay. Um, and while well, it was so big, so we were waiting for Michaela to come with the truck. He took me in his house, mm. which was usually a no-no, but yeah. always, going Craig's house. always a no-no. Uh, and he had a full Western like city in his backyard that was like. Whoa. Maybe 30 feet long and was a facaded, like, fake ghost town. What? And he was obsessed with the West. And I asked him why, and he said, because I've always been weird. Um, and, yeah, we should, like, do a whole segment with Nearly Normal Norman. This guy is... Nearly gold. Normal. I love Norman. Los Angeles, man, yeah. because that you just that's the kind of thing that can happen. You just go in somebody's backyard, and it's a Western town. Wait, but did he say it all, like, I got this from... Jojo's Jojo Yeah, yeah. I mean, how do we dumpster? know this is authentic Jojo okay. Siwa? So he said that Jojo Siwa lives in Sherman Oaks, and that's okay. all he would say to me. So my assumption was He's that, stealing from Jojo was that he found it in, in the dumpster. Like that is just basically what I think happened. But that doesn't reveal uh, oh. anything of what we did with it. Yes, that's my He's theory. going through Jojo's trash. Jojo, I, I love how it's the letter U space tube sensation. Party prop. Yeah. Jojo YouTube sensation. Christmas party prop. No text. That's how I, that's how I refer to YouTube when I'm talking to my parents. In okay, text. so the question is, did we pay something for this that was from the dumpster or not? In three, two, one. Paid. We paid for it because, yeah. Because this is his business. Is his he business. goes in the dumpsters and then he sells things. Yeah, 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 yeah. we did. We okay, did pay so, for it. So and really and who wouldn't? Who, how, I look at it. How much does he think? It's huge. I think it should just live there. I think our set needs a little bit of an update and most of it needs to be blocked by um, a hornless unicorn. Is the yellowing purposeful? I cannot tell. Yeah, from here. the horse has jaundice. Got it. Got it. How much did he think someone would pay for it, but he was wrong, except that we did pay for it? Yeah. Uh, That's how I went about that. Okay. What'd you say? I said 125. Ah, 75. It's going to disappoint you. We paid $175 Whoa. for this. <laughs> We did. 175. Now what are we gonna do with it? Uh, burn it? We have crafted a special holiday treat for Mythical Society members, and it's not too late to join because you wanna experience this. Robert, the Mythical Party Magician, has his very own holiday magic special that's happening today over on mythicalsociety.com. Join any degree to watch and be amazed. This guy's a dedicated mythical beast. He themes his magic around it. You're gonna love it because we loved it at our holiday party last year mm -hmm. and with the Magic Without Instructions that we've done yes. uh, with him. So Sharing mythicalsociety.com today. As this next Craigslister so helpfully put it, this item would be a great gift idea for your dentist. Oh, So we've yes. got a ceramic um, old dentist um, 
just pull, just yanking the life out of that guy's face, man. Uh, made in Taiwan. He's 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 gripping the dentist's booty. This is a fear of mine, man. Being the dentist or being the guy in the chair. Either. Uh, there's some craftsmanship in this. Is there? There's some expressive expressiveness, emotion. Kind of kind of Norman Rockwell vibe going on here. Oh man, it's it's actually kind of disturbing if you look down at this guy. Oh my goodness, but take a look at the hand of the patient. He's missing the finger. Which, which hand? Up, oh, there it is. I found a flaw. There it is, can, can you see that? Now do you think the dentist started missing there? Missing a finger. It looks like they were missing and then glued back on. Is there like a little blood there? What's yeah, going it, on there? Yeah, they, no, it's like wired. It, but it looks like yeah, they put some red there, so it is like blood. And then, see, like, up. Oh, there's another one. Okay, put some blood on that one. Just worth less now. You want you want a finger? Yeah. I'll give you the finger. It's like when I ate that bee stinger when I was a kid. Now he's no missing reason. two. All right. All right. Are the missing fingers enough to make this free? Three, two, one. Paid. Freed. We paid oh, for it. Oh, great! So I get a point. Great gift idea for your dentist. Yep, like you said. Okay, but I do get to guess the price. Yeah, you can guess. And remember, if you're within ten dollars, who, who gives gifts to their dentist? Is that a thing? Yeah, every year on his birthday. You don't give your dentist a birthday gift? Hmm. Never have, my friend. All right, eleven dollars, fourteen dollars. Oh my gosh! Somebody nailed it. Well, we paid fifteen dollars, so you're both within ten points. But Rhett's closer, so oh, Rhett, he gets the point. I get yeah. a point. Then, then point. and he gets we'll, the other point. Yeah, but yeah. I don't get it because I okay. Yeah, he gets both points. Wow, that was whew, that was close, man. Dang. Uh. Next up is a vintage wood step ladder. Oh, vintage oh, okay. wood. And um, cool. I was told Lucas. Do you have another story about this item? Uh, this was sold by a friend of the show that we've met before, but they're actually my friends. Um, <laughs> okay. And uh, these two guys were telling me that they were uh, actors in Germany, and that in Germany they can't walk down the street without getting swarmed by people. And so I they're thought they're famous they were, in Germany. Yeah, I thought they were lying because it's like, like, what are you talking about? And he spent the rest of the day texting me videos of him and his partner in crime. And they're basically like progressive, like flow, but in Germany. Like there are these two American guys that do this fake American sitcom for German commercials for insurance. And they like one up each other, but like the whole thing is like, haha, they're Americans. They're idiot Americans trying to buy more things. They sent me okay. like 20 of these videos. Which what? is ironic because then they sold this thing they to sold two idiot thing. Americans. And, th and this is this is not in the commercials though. This no. is just their personal. This is just their personal, personal artifact of theirs. This is this is cool. I could see this being a decor item. Is it's it cracked pretty severely right did here? Did you try to uh, collapse it all the way? I think. Yeah, the, yeah I did. I did. You got to You just do that. And then it, I mean, so it's actually still functional. That's cool. That's cool. All right. Okay. Here we go. When in Germany. Three, two. One paid. Free. We paid Dang for the it. step ladder. Why, why so, um, want to get rid of that? Well, I don't know how good of friends these were, uh, but take a guess at how much. A lot of history in this thing. A lot of utility. Vintage wood step ladder green. Six images. All right. Sixty-two dollars. Thirty dollars. A uh, hundred dollars. What? <laughs> Hundred dollars. They it's took advantage vintage. of of you. They're your friends. Well, they're my friends now. They weren't when they sold me a hundred dollars okay. stuff. Like you're you're a fan of their work. Yeah, yeah. Now I like them. Yeah. They're what? just texting you constantly to prove how popular they are in Germany. Yep. What am I missing? That's a great type of friend. Last up, we've got a box of stuff. Yeah, that's it's very. It's really a bag. Oh, I guess yeah, it's a bag of stuff. Yeah. Well, that's okay. disappointing. Oh, okay, so we've got. You're in. You're in for a treat, Rhett. Exercise the, ball. Exercise ball deflated. Oh, it's an embark. What is this? Oh yeah. Oh, a sword. My kind of knife. Yeah. A I'll sword. Get you. My kind of knife. <laughs> yeah. He's an expert. Um. What is this part? 
We got a uh, breastplate. Breastplate. Oh, and then there's a there's a hat. Oh! God dang it! He'll find a way. <laughs> He'll find a way. Hey, actually, this is your kind of knife right here. It really hurt. Oh yeah. And uh, foam knife. Another breastplate. No, this is shield. Okay. Now I will point out it says Sherman Oak, so this could be JoJo Siwa's. Oh uh, yes, we have a seat belt piece. Ah! For when you want to ah. fake like you're wearing a seatbelt. And we have some is, seeds, some sunflower this seeds. Is so strange. This is kind of like one of those like Etsy mystery boxes. I'm starting to kind of like it. Okay. Was it free or did we pay for it? Three, two, one. Free. free. Yeah, thankfully. Yeah. I mean, it's a bag of junk. Yeah. yeah. I just get, there's a bag, come pick it up and it's hey, yours. but you know what this means, Link? You get to pick any item. The cheerleading to outfit. Take All right. <laughs> it's that easy. I have lots of ideas. <laughs> mm, thank you, Lucas. You've oh. done good work today. Okay, we'll see if Link can get into that in Good Mythical More. In the meantime, thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Marcus. And I'm Rose. And we're here at the Linville Falls Winery and Christmas Tree Farm in Linville Falls, North Carolina. And, and it's, it's time, time to, to spin, spin the, the wheel, wheel of, of mythicality. mythicality. It's a peaceful place. Click the top link to watch us discover the coolest things you can do around the world for free in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the Wheel of Mythicality is gonna land. The red one and the purple one, and the see all these different silks. Uh, and if you put them together, you get a sprite! Oh! <laughs> 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 <laughs>